it seems like just a couple years ago, wireless devices is drawing out there an access point and mobile devices within our environment were taboo. And today it's quite obvious that wireless is becoming mainstream in many of our environments. But you have to ask yourself the question, are we secure and at what cost to performance? So there are a couple components within the wireless environment. The, of course, the access point, the mobile device, and the controller. And we're going to spend some time today talking about some of the functionality related to a wireless strategy. So you have to have encryption, WIDs, and firewall, AES, Suite B um, encryption. We have to have what we call operational security within our wireless environment. It truly makes the environment. But there are some other features and functions that you want to watch out for. You need to have an environment that allows you to do policies based on rules, right? An automated workflow that allows you to do mobile device onboarding, quarantine activities, all of these activities to keep your environment secure and stable and repeatable. You need an environment that allows you to, to have access points that don't require decryption and that are FIPS 140-2 certified, as well an environment that will use the controller to relieve workloads from the access points. All of these things that you see here on the screen now are represent what a good wireless strategy should have. If you're buying wireless technology and you do not have these functions and features, you need to search out for wireless technologies that do. One suggestion is the Aruba wireless solution. It is a great solution, provides all of these things. Let me give you one quick highlight before we go. Related to encryption at the access point, I think from an operational expense perspective, this is one of the biggest gotchas in developing a wireless strategy. Imagine if you're running an encrypted environment, right, which all of you should be encrypting the data that's going across and moving about your environment. Imagine if you are certified, FIPS 140-2 certified, or even if you're not, how do you ensure that that access point has not been penetrated, right, that it's not vulnerable, that somebody physically hasn't modified it? Well, to do that, you have to go around and check every access point because in many wireless solutions, the access point actually decrypts the data. So to ensure that that data is staying encrypted all the time within your environment, providing you with optimal operational security, you need to make sure that that access point stays encrypted all the time, never decrypts. Then you don't have to worry about if somebody tampers with that access point, which you have hundreds in large environments because it's always encrypted throughout the entire system.